Good morning. The range bound trade in which the market was stuck for quite some time is perhaps history now. Suddenly, the all time peak of January 2008 appears within a striking distance. Even global markets seem to be resilient. A flood of FII money and a stronger than expected domestic economic data have made India amongst the best performers. The start today is expected to be flat to slightly down due to lackluster global trends, but the Indian market is expected to recover in the latter part of the day. A small pullback from recent highs is not ruled out. Large caps are likely to remain at the forefront of the rally, but lack of participation by small caps and mid-cap counters is a little disconcerting. There is a lingering sense that a sharp fall could happen, but one is not able to pin it down to any individual event. Shocking bad news from the external fund perhaps could be one. However, if global markets remain supportive, the liquidity deluge could take the Indian indices further up. The Fed is likely to remain status quo, but markets will be keen to hear about its future plans. A string of US housing reports are also due this week. On the whole, the momentum is likely to last a bit longer, but one must not get complacent as the market heads further up. One must have a part of one's portfolio in defensive plays like IT, FMCG and Pharma for cushion in case there is a steep fall. Avoid small cap and mid cap shares with questionable fundamentals. No major local events are scheduled till next week when we have the FNO expiry. A slew of IPOs have hit the primary market but most of them are relatively smaller ones to cause any damage in terms of absorption of FI inflows. Watch out for Delta Corp as its board takes up a preferential allotment. Sri Ashtavinayak Sini Vision's board meets today for the purpose of considering the issue and allotment of equity shares on conversion of FCCBs. Himalaya International's board has decided to make application for listing the company's securities on the NSC. FIIs for net buyers of Rs 15.18 billion in the cash segment on Friday provisionally, according to the NSC website. The local funds were net sellers of Rs 7.47 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 6.2 billion. The foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 11.43 billion in the cash segment on Friday, according to the SEBI data. The mutual funds were net sellers of Rs 7.5 billion on the same day. Nearly after a year, the retail price of cement in the south is set to increase by Rs 15 to 20 per bag from today. Finance Ministry has now effected a general reduction in drawback rates in most sectors including textiles and textile articles, leather and leather articles, base metals, etc. Advanced tax paid by India's top 100 companies rose 13% to Rs 238 billion. Agriculture and Food Minister said that 2010-2011 will give the country a bumper kharif as well as a rabi harvest due to one of the best monsoon spells in recent years. Forex reserves fell by 828 million US dollars to 285 billion US dollars for the week ended 10th of September on account of revaluation in currencies. A ministerial panel under Finance Minister approved the draft mining bill that essentially seeks to make companies share 26% of their profits with the local population. Oriental Bank of Commerce has raised capital of 5 billion rupees to fund business growth and strengthen its capital adequacy. National Environment Appellate Authority has suspended clearance to Vedanta's bauxite mining project in Orissa. United Spirits will launch an open offer starting November 10th to buy back shares from shareholders of Pioneer Distilleries. Bharti Airtel announced its entry into the fast-growing mobile handset business as group firm Beetle Teletech launched eight handsets in the price range of Rs. 1750 to 7000 HPCL Mittal Energy Mool's IPO once Bhatindia Refinery goes in stream. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on Hindustan Unilever. We advise buying the stock in the range of Rs. 280 to Rs. 284 for a target price of Rs. 302 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 375.50. And a buy on Aurobindo Pharma. We advise buying the stock in the range of Rs. 1060 to Rs. 1080 with a stop loss to be maintained at Rs. 1040 for a target price of Rs. 1130. The derivative strategies are Long Reliance Communication September Future in the range of Rs. 169 to Rs. 170 for a target price of Rs. 179 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs. 164. And Short IDFC September Future in the range of Rs. 194 to Rs. 195. For a target price of Rs 186 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs 198.
Thank you and have a great day ahead.